What's going on everybody? It's Patrick. Uh, bought a new knife. Been eyeballing this thing for a little while. I finally pulled the trigger on it. I got me a Ontario 8848 rat folding knife. I've had it actually kind of on my wish list for a while and wasn't really sure if I was going to get it or not or if you know, I'd like it. This has always been my go-to camping pocket knife. It's been my Spyderco. Um, you can tell it's it's a nasty, nasty son of a gun right now. If you can get it to come in, yeah, see, look, it's all nasty. And I cleaned up while I'm out here. Um, so I've always I've, that's always been my go-to knife between that and my Kershaw, and I forgot the name of it. That's sad, but my Kershaw. Until this came in, come in, Mr. UPS Brown, and I opened it up, held it for a few minutes. I thought, man, that's a huge knife. And by the way, in the state of Tennessee now, you're not limited to three and a half inch blade or three point whatever ever. You can go over four inches now. thought I'd throw it out there for public service. Anyway, um, but I looked at it at first and I thought, man, that's a huge knife. The blade on it's only 3.5 inches long. Altogether, the knife's eight and a half inches long. It's five ounces the way she sits. But then I opened it up, like so, and I put it in my hand and held on to it for a little bit. Noticed it had really nice finger jimping right there to put your thumb. You got really nice place to put your finger here, so it's out of the way of the blade. Nice thumb screw on both sides of the blade, which means when it's closed, it's on both sides. And the clip can be put on both sides. You see it where it is right now, which is where I like it. You go on the other side, guess what? You can move the clip around. So, I've used it for a couple days. This I haven't beat it up yet. I will beat it up before it's over with. It will get beat around. And I haven't really done any updates on any of my knives that I have in my um, in my collection because I feel like I want to really beat them up and see how they're going to hold up. As a matter of fact, my spider cut will be, probably be my next video I do on a knife. But compare it to the spider cut, and everybody owns, I think everybody owns a spider cut tenacious at some point. You'll see how much longer it is altogether. Lay it this way, and that'll really show you. It's a much longer blade, much longer handle. Now, if I was to go blade to blade, it's still longer than the Tenacious. Alright. So with that said, my first impressions of the knife, I thought it was going to be too big to carry. After carrying it a few days and working around with it, and I've used it outside a little bit and done some things with it. It's got a darn good edge on it from the out of the box, I will have to say that. I like the knife. I really like it. You got good positive lock up. Let's see if you can see that. And get it in there. And then once it's closed, blade centering on it, and I know that's important to some people, it's pretty damn good. I was pretty impressed with it. Um, it's a Makita Makita type scale, kind of like your Tenacious. I mean, they pretty much feel about the same. Not one's not one, you know, any more aggressive than the other. They're about the same as far as grip goes on it. But once the knife is open, I feel like you have total safe control of the blade with where your hand's position and how deep it's positioned on the knife itself. Um, I really like it. And guys, right now you can go on Amazon. If you're not an Amazoner, you know, look around for it at knife shops or gun shows or wherever. 
Right now you can go on Amazon and get it for $29.29. Uh, thereabouts. I think I, you know, there was a little shipping involved because I'm not a Prime member anymore. But I've kind of fallen in love with this one. It actually makes me want to put Mr. Spider Cub in the drawer for a while and let it rest and beat the hell out of this one for a little while. So, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I do want to finish out this video with saying thank you to all my fans, my supporters, and um, all the people that's helped my channel grow, and we sure, certainly appreciate it. Uh, that's about it for now. I've got a couple things I'm working on, and I got a book to show you. So there's a book review out coming out. So with all that said, everybody, be careful. See you soon.